Merhaba arkadaşlar ben Samuel ee, Samuel Özen'in yeni videosuna daha hoş geldiniz arkadaşlar Bugün Heavy Rain'e kaldığımız yere devam edeceğiz arkadaşlar Hatırlarsanız en son burada kalmıştık yani Marka'da gidiyoruz diye çıkmıştık hep odadan Bu ablayla baya bir sevmiş yasandı yani onu da söyleyeyim Mesela yasadık yani bu ablayla onu da belirteyim Son bölüm bu arkadaşlar haberiniz olsun Hey bir eğilim son bölümü bu ee, Ya bir saat falan sürer maksimum Belki bir buçuk saat ama iki saati e, Bulacağını düşünmüyorum bu videonun Belki bulsa bile Bu videoda kesin bir şey bir eğilim onu da belirteyim Benim bir yerde ana polis They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Nada. I got Nada on. Don't hold him, Nada. I'm telling you, Nada jumps on him. Abi dur. Ben görmüyorum çünkü. What's going on? Isn't this great? Like being in a TV show. Who'd have thought it? The origami killer renting a room here. He registered under a false name. But I recognized his face. Tamam lan tamam sus. Telefonu buldum sus. What was the damn number? 207 3 2 2 bas 207 Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Come on. Salak herif. Koş 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 ben yakalanmayacağım koş Ne oluyor lan orta Ananı Koş 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 Hadi koş Hayır. Hayır, yakalanmayacağım. Hayır. Yakalanmayacağım. Bu kısmı tekrar oynasam bile yakalanmak istemiyorum. Ferrari, aynen. Yakalanmayacağım. Yakalanmak yok. Yakalanmayacağım. Hadi başla be abi. Bu ses ne be?
the balcony. Why'd you run out there? Oh, I go. Ich war noch neide. Wow! Der wird, der wird, der wird, der wird, auf, bitte. Stop it! Be doing lunch. Hey, Adam, here, man, a bit of yak, let's be off. Çok hızlı ilerliyor. Atla lan bekleme atla. Ay dedektif. Nefret ediyorum bu adamdan ya. Hiç sevmiyorum. I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. Switch on that ignition. I 
Ben böyle içeyim. Salak mısın sen? Kadını niye almıyorsun lan? Kadını kurtarsana bal. Kadını almadım mal. Ben dedim kadını sonra kurtarır falan kurtamaya terörse bile etmemiş. I was going to take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do? I'm going to go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. Gene mi bu adam? Come on. 
Cevher geldi lan. Stay back. Don't come near me. I'll shoot. Beni mi öldürmeye çalışıyorsun lan ha? Fucking asshole. Please don't. Sus lan. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a killer. Not a killer. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please. Don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. I'll tell you everything. Come on, I'm not Come on, back then. Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy, Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy Kill. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Uh, you disgusting pile of shit. John Shepard came. What about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother... His mother, you know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! Thank you. You saved my life. I already regret it. Ya biz kaçtık ama buna ne oldu bilmiyorum. Ah, 
Perşembe günü kaçtık. Ee, Perşembe akşamdı. Şimdi Cuma sabah ama bu niye acile geldi? Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Bir denk yu çeyim ev servisi var ama ya da bilerek çeyim ev servisi var. Merhaba. Room 19. Where is that? John Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Hope I'm not wasting my time. Room 19. Where is that? Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. There. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Come on. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills?
All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. It takes days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. origami but that's not my favorite one these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. Gotta find something else to show her. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. No point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some.
Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No. There's nothing, really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer.
The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Fucking, 
several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman.
The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Ugh, that doesn't get us anywhere. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely.
Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. profile his own. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. You sure it's the right car? At the docks. Call the SWAT team. Oh, and I'll need a chopper. Today? Of course I'll need it today, you fucking imbecile. Let me stay with you, Scott. I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Laura. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. And I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise.
Get out of here, you little bastard. Leave me alone. Put the gun down. Come on, John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go away. Son 20 dakika kaldı. Bitsin artık şu oyun.
Killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. uniform. Always dressed a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop.
This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Sean Mars! Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown! It's some kind of a well filling up with rain, slowly drowning him. There's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Shit, it needs a password. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Jump. I've got to find something else. 
Tamam lan manyak. Dur dur sakin ol tamam. Tamam. Ananın zırt var orada. Hayır 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 salam. Too high. I'm gonna kill myself. There must be another way. Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan.
know where Shamar's is. I've got to call that FBI guy, Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. My name is Madison Page. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. You got all that? Wait, I know it was already. I'm on my way to the warehouse. I gotta go. Çocuk. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then I remembered you. those murders just to find a father capable of saving his son just to find a father do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes believe me i suffer just as much as my victims i finished your damn trial now give me back my son he's there all you have to do is open that grave. Yeah. 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 
Is in position? Yes, yep. Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. What's up? What's up? Ever happened to me in my life. 
I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I, I'm not there. I took the point an hour ago, and I'm not dead. <laughs> Get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it, for Christ's sake. He's innocent. Get up! Hey, what are you doing? That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Oregami killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the Oregami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, 
Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. Today's World Magazine this week, and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer, and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Ook zo'n dame ook, man. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? You don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. I'm 
Zor bir bonus yok. Salat bir ne? Valla bundan içmeyene bakacak halim yok. Bir sürü güzel eski fotoğraflar bunlar. Hadi.